Go ahead. We're getting one off the top here. You gotta watch out for the heater and that water hole, that water pipe. gold here and I've come too far I need to come back a couple inches cut this off the plastic try and just get the plastic not the carpet and then what's easiest is to cut this wait what did you just do oh I'm pushing it down on here to get it I'm pushing it in re reverse right now or excuse me, forward, which is this roller button right here. And I'm trying to get this where the, where the roll starts to be where I can cut it, because that's the easiest place to cut this plastic off. Mm. And you can see that it's gonna fall off the roll from the bottom, the opposite way you would do a toilet paper roll. That's how you want it. If it was the wrong way, you want to take it out in the parking lot, lay it down, come around to the other side, pick it back up, bring it in here and make it this way. Most of the time they do deliver them this way. Don't cut into the carpet backing, you're just cutting the, the plastic here.
Okay, so the plastic is loose. So I want to go in reverse, and that's this left roller here, back in reverse. Then when I step on any of these yellow, this will start going the opposite way. And I can pull this out real easy. Just make sure it doesn't roll back on itself. <coughs> and bring this until it's about here. And what you're going to want to do is pull up this roller. Stick the carpet under there. Now, you see how it's not straight on here? It needs to guide down this, this line. So I'm going to use this lever right here. And you push it or pull it to get this to adjust to where it's straight down that line. Do that again. Here's the... That'll shift it back and forth and you want it to go straight down this line. Now, I like to bring it all the way to here. It gives, a, gives your installer a couple extra inches. Whoops, make it forward. And we're gonna stop it there and we're gonna put this roller down. Is it lined up? Pretty good. Okay. Then I also want to open this up, and that's just push this, and it opens up to here. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're going to follow these steps, and we're going to do it right here. So my cut is, I need to cut, let's see, I need to cut a... Fifteen six. So I'm going to go PRS. Should look like that. Hit this select. This should start blinking. Then you can come back here. And I'm going to do, take this down to one. Put this over. Put it up to five. Over to six. Now that's what I want. Fifteen six. Fifteen point oh six. 15.06, that's 15 feet, 6 inches, okay? Then you hit just what it says down here. It says enter, should look like that. Hit escape, then reset. Whoops, let me try that again. Process. Enter, escape, reset. There we go. That's what it should look like to start. You should have zeros up here. You should have your amount right here. Then you're going to step on the yellow here. You're going to grab this handle in your right hand. You're going to grab this carpet in your left. And when it gets close, you're going to release this and push it down so it rolls on itself. I'm going to take that back to show you again because that is the one tricky part here. If you mess up and you don't get it real tight on the circle, no big deal. Just reverse it. It's still keeping track of your, your length here so you don't have to go all the way back. Then hit forward. Hold this. Press down on here. And, hit this. and hold it down a little bit for the first few rolls. Then you can let it go. This is going to count up to 15.6. It slows down. Keep going until it stops. And then it says cut now. I've got a cutter right here, this red button. I'm going to push it forward because the cutter right now is in here. I'm going to hit forward. I'm going to go. And it cuts it. Now. If I try and push it, it doesn't go anymore because it's hit the 15.6. I have to hit reset. And this one I want to back out or leave where it is. And this one I want to keep rolling. So I have that still on forward. 
and I'm going to use my tape and I come here where these two rollers that's about the center and as I'm as I'm pulling, I tape it and then I'm controlling it with the with the yellow strip and that is ready now I can take it off this one's small enough I, I can take it off with the forklift this is small enough that I can release this and have it roll out and I can just carry this by hand any bigger than that I would probably use the forklift to get this out and I would use the forklift to get this out so I think that's it